What's up, people? It's Mr. Nim, and welcome to Displaced. I was supposed to have a video out on this a while ago. I was given this game, uh, but the footage got corrupted. And I have played a little bit of it. Before we get into things, I want to tell you something I noticed between now and when I recorded it. This font is uh, called Capture It. I recognize it very well because it is the font used on Bullet Club shirts. That's why I have it on my computer. At least I'm pretty sure it's Capture It. It looks like Capture It. Or a, it might just be a, a stock font. Either way, um, I also noticed the same font being used in a Jim Pressions video because I've recently been watching a lot of Jim Sterling. And uh, Jim Pressions is his series on low grade Steam games. It kind of sets a tone for what we're about to get into. Let's start a new game because I have. I have. Um, Okay, sure, yeah. I, I have started this, but it wasn't really consequential. Um, yes. I want to start a new game! Uh, some War and Peace quote. Um, I'm going to take you guys through this again. Yet another political confrontation led to a war that spread across the country like a wildfire. The streets flowed with blood of progressives and conservatives who fervently killed each other. You know, this is getting weirdly topical now. No one cared about the innocent people who were caught in the crossfire and civilian casualties mounted. Is this a world where political parties have armies, but the army proclaimed neutrality and kept its distance from the massacre? The army's not involved. The progressives and conservatives tagging each other. Gangs ruling the roads. Who are the innocents? Political activists. Okay. Uh, the armored blinds. Government officials. Ah, uh, it's just as bad as I remember. Okay. So if you don't understand the story, good fucking luck! And if you do understand the story, please tell me! Cause I don't understand! It's so nebulous, it makes no sense! Oh, I... Oh... Oh... Okay. Now, last time I had this guy... Um, this one, they have no stamina, by the way. No agility. They apparently trip over their own fucking feet. Uh, I had this guy. Um, I had, and I had the two girls. Because they have full agility, but barely any defense. Okay. And survive. Skip the tutorial? Um, no, because I actually don't remember much about this game. Because I really didn't care for it. We can't st stay here anymore. Troops are drawing close. We either leave now or die by their weapons. I gathered all the supplies I could find. Ooh, wait, the troops? I remember having this exact response. The troops? What troops? The army proclaimed neutrality! Get your story straight! Gathered all the supplies I could find, but they'll only last a few days. We'll have to restock along the way. Others are planning to escape, too. We'd have a better chance of making it through the noose. Through the noose? If we did it together. The nearest city is Remix. Let's go there and then decide what to do next. I'm gonna look up... Remix? Uh, 
and see if that's a real place. No, it, it doesn't exist, and, um... Yeah. Okay. I don't feel any attachment. Also, I want to point out that there's a weird asymmetry. Using capture it here, and then whatever this font is over here, I think it's probably an aerial of some form. Uh, it, it just doesn't make much sense. And I'm now realizing that as detailed as this map is, it makes no sense for a game like this. Because you're guessing where you're supposed to click. Because <sighs> there's not always the arrow, by the way. Yeah, no. Oh yeah, I also had no idea what this was for the longest time. The bar at the top. The city has gone mad, driven to the edge of insanity. Or beyond the edge of insanity. The residents have turned the streets into a living hell. Screams and groans and cries of agony. As you reach the town square, you see an angry frothing preacher on the soapbox calling for everyone. <laughs> a frothing preacher. He's literally rabid. He will die soon. Uh, and that's not even... I remember this passage. He actually does die. He gets, like, slit... It, oh, no. <laughs> Blows his fucking brains out out of nowhere. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> this is, like, The Purge. It, it, it's, it's what I imagine to be going through the head of a person who really wants... Who really, really wants to be very, uh very deep but can't running away won't work war is everywhere our best shot is crossing the border and leaving the country before it's too late it will be a difficult journey so we'll need all the supplies we can find food tools meds okay Clermont I'm not sure why Jude and Adam are talking but Oh, okay. Let's, let's, let's fucking take it. Or just leave it there and keep the fog of war for some reason. Uh, I mean, can't pass the border, the border post without the proper papers, so land is not an option. Land is not an option. Just keep that in mind. Exiting through the port would be easier. All you'd have to do is slip someone the cash and climb aboard. Your third option is sneaking into a private airport and stealing a jet, but there's no guarantee you'd find fuel. So it seems like there's like one option, right? Pick a goal. You can either do the impossible thing, do the risky thing, or do the safe thing. I don't understand the logic. It's not like difficulty levels, I don't think, but you know what? Just to test whether it is like difficulty levels, Immigration Center. I'll try the impossible one. Impossible. Ha. Ah, they said it was impossible. Man arguing. One of them sees you and heads your way. Hi, I'm James. James Kinley. You've probably seen me on TV. We want to film a war. The war. The war. The war. But we don't know how to get to where the action is. Are you from around here? Yeah, but we're headed the other way, toward the border. So you'll need money, right? We'll pay you if you take us some where to where the action is. We just, we're just going to take some pictures and write a few stories and then be our way. Deal or we can't risk it. I, I don't understand. Uh, I knew we'd be able to strike a deal. Here's the map. I've marked the spots where we need to go. Where should we start? See what you believe to be an old woman. You take a closer look and realize she's actually... <laughs> For the unspeakable suffering is Asia beyond her years. I'm sorry, that's just not a thing. Thing. Not within the frame of time they are talking about. 
because as far as I know, this is literally days after the war started. That's what you're leading me to believe. I don't believe that someone could age like that within like days. Didn't even happen to the fucking president. Talking about the last one, not the current orange menace we have. Uh, a girl of about 10 is standing next to her and begs you to take her mother to the nearest city. He says her mom is sick. Can we get on their own? Uh, we should help them. Sure, let's, let's help them. By any other van in town in ruins, you frisk the building supply. Uh, oh, a single immigration form is among them. Oh, okay! Sure! Fucking random immigration form. In the marks in James's map is a small town several miles away. As you arrive, you have a stench of rotting meat, smoke, and the sharp tang of something chemical. Bodies litter the streets. Ming. Streeth? Streeth. Ming cleared death, took them by surprise. While the journalists are working, you move, You think about finding a gas mask. Move on. I don't... Has it been years? Days? Weeks? Months? It, it, it's fucking horrendous. And... Let's take a little resty poo. And then... Journalists decide to stop pressing their luck and leave. You tell Kinley is becoming too dangerous to accompany him to... What? And then... Oh, no, wait. The woman falls to the ground, unable to cope with the end of the blow. Suddenly, a man in tattered clothes. Huh? Now, I want to point something out to you. If I go down here and go to this little marker, the journalists are back. The pro government troops. I thought the government was. I thought the military was out of this. The government officials were locked up with their machine guns. Who is doing what, when, where? Why, as well? This literally fails four out of the five storytelling... Oh my god. See... I'm a writer. And I'm not just saying that, like, I write things. I am going to school for filmmaking, and I've always been a storyteller. A story must be in its most basic variety. It must be able to answer five questions. Who, what, when, where, why, Six questions, and how? <laughs> I fucked that up so bad. But, either way. It must be able to answer who, what, when, where, why, how. I don't know who. I barely know what. It's a war that seems to have no one fighting in it. I don't know when. I don't know where. I definitely don't know why. It's another, like, fucking breakout of conflict. Those don't just happen. Something triggers them. And how, maybe I know. So you answered half of two questions. That leaves four questions at the very least. No, five. Leaves five. I'm an idiot, but it also leaves four at least. Because maybe you answered one and maybe you answered another. Maybe. Jesus. 
I'm just trying to get to a certain point in this game because the combat is something you need to see. Nipagon. An old merchant peers into your eyes and he just... I will take the money and not bring it to your friend, sure, because I'm a dick bag hole face bag. Nipsagon. Like nipples. Ah, yes! This is gonna be combat. This is weird. Uh, into the brutes is... Okay, let's, let's fight. The thugs! The thugs. The thugs. Okay, sure. I might kill an enemy with the first strike, but... Blah, 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 blah. I don't know why my screen's behaving like this right now, but it is. Why, why am I... Okay. I can open up the inventory. I could hit him with a fish. No, I actually can't. Although I really fucking wish you could. All right, Max, you've got a gun. Um, and you've got some agility, so... I'm gonna have you sneak attack the motherfuckers. Uh, I'm also gonna have you sneak attack some motherfuckers. And th th there's, there's some tactics involved in this sh show combat. But, to be honest... Yeah. I don't understand most of it. Got three health after one round. Now, I did not touch a button. You could see my hands were under my desk. No, you probably couldn't. But either way, you could. You could. Usually, let's be honest. You can hear because my mic is right here and my keyboard is right under it. If I'm hitting something, my mouse is right here. You can hear some. I did not hit a button. Combat is... It's not the worst thing I've encountered. But there's something fundamentally wrong with it. There are no stakes. Because in my previous Let's Play, which I wish I could have shown you, because that would have been legitimate first reactions... All the battles that I did, I won. Maybe taking one hit in two of the battles. That's two hits over at least six or seven battles. Including one I instigated. And, of course, there's getting inventory, which... I, I will admit, these little icons are nice. I, um, I imagine these were made for the game? Because they look nice. Um, I think these probably were too. Though I am going to be honest, I probably will look that up. Uh... More shit? What? I don't know where we got this. But, uh, sure. Oh! Party encounters us. Let, let, let's greet them. Kitten peeks out. Yeah, that's cute. But it makes no sense. And I'm gonna go up to this guy. See a small party like yours in the distance. They have hiking gears. Greet them. And kitten appears. A lot of these guys have kittens for some reason. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, this is ridiculous. So there's a madness mechanic. And I swear to god, the same exact guy is going crazy. Like... 
I'm in a totally different area in the map. And the same exact guy is going crazy. Around the same exact time, too. I feel like that's not a coincidence. You know, it's not giving me pleasure to rag on this game. But it's my way of doing it. It's my way of giving you advice to whoever made this. It's my way of saying these things need to be improved. And right now, this entire game needs improving. Alright? Because it has potential. But your story is... Okay, frankly, your story is terrible. Your map doesn't make sense for what you're doing. Um... The, the sort of cloying hunger mechanics, not a fan, but it kind of makes sense. The fact that the same guy has gone mad twice, I feel like that's a programming thing, and don't do that. I, there has to be a way to make randomizing happen, because it happens in other games. Hell, it happened in the Oregon goddamn trail. Random people got random things. So you should be able to program this to be random. Unless this is just some weird coincidence. But I feel like it's not. It has potential. But I don't mind that capture it font for the cities. But for the menu, it should be on par with everything. Or change the capture it to this. Change this to the capture it. Right now, I don't feel like this is at home on a PC. It might be at home on one of these. On a phone. Right now, it's not at home on a PC. And if you want it to be, fix it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, comment. Um, I'm sorry I was so hard on the game, but it needs to happen. Uh, if I'm given a game and I don't enjoy my time with it, and it takes me so long to go back to it because I'm like, kind of don't want to play that game again. Kind of want to leave it where it is. Then... I need to tell the people who made it that. I need to say, okay, this is what you do. Maybe I've been watching too much Jimquisition. Maybe that's contributing to that ideal. But I think it's a good... Why did I say ideal? Idea is probably the better word. I think it's a good idea. And I think that more people should do it. And I've rambled long enough. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, comment. I will see you and you and all of you on the next episode of Whatever I Make But Until Then. Sigh.